Welcome potential investors. I'm here on behalf of Dog Tech Ventures. Today, we're gonna to be prototyping and showing you our mechanical walker. This is gonna be one small step for dog and one giant leap for mankind. In the beginning of our project, we uh, assessed the effectiveness of bipedal and quadrupedal motion. We opted for quadrupedal motion in favor of the dog uh, in order to simplify the movement and improve the transfer of power. Here we have our preliminary design sketches. This will show, generally speaking, what our walker will look like and mechanically how it will move. And this is just a very simple cutout from a SolidWorks drawing showing the different orientations of the project and a section view showing the internals of it. Moving forward, I'm going to utilize these pictures to show how the power delivery system works in this project. In real life, we use a series of elastic bands wound in tension through the central drive axis and the drive rods. Unfortunately, in SOLIDWORKS, modding elastics is way more difficult than expected. And this princip the principle of this project works on the fact that when this central drive rod rotates, it transfers the power to the front drive rods and the rear, rear drive rod, which are connected to the legs, which spin and they propel the project forward. And very quickly, we need to touch on efficiency and simplicity. And we chose to make a very simple design to make sure that our walker actually does the task that we wanted to perform. And through this bill of materials, you can see the very few components required to build up this project. Here we have our exploded view. This shows how the walker is assembled in order of reverse. Perfect. And moving forward, like I mentioned, in real life, power is being supplied through elastic energy, which is wound and released. In SOLIDWORKS, we opted to apply the power in the form of a motor to the central drive rod, and through a series of mates and relations, this drive rod spinning causes the legs and the other drive rods uh, to move forward in unison. And very quickly, this slide just shows the different orientations and the views of the physical project in real life and how the elastic bands, the elastic bands are wound and put into tension. This slide details the various iterations and issues we had with our prototype. In the first video, we have an issue of leg interference with the rear a drive axle leg interferes with the center rod and sometimes with the front legs. Here we have issues of traction. The legs are slipping with the ground and the axles are spitting out and the walkers are moving forward. Here we experimented with changing the center of gravity and by increasing the arc length of the rotation, this did not work, it only flipped the prototype. Here, you can see an issue of too much torque. The elastics were overwound, and the first step was very powerful, causing the walker to flip over. And here we have a video of our working prototype. As you can see, it takes one leap forward. The changes we made in order to achieve this were increasing the width of the drive axles on the front and the rear. We added elastics to the legs in order to improve the traction and prevent it from slipping or spinning out. And what we did was we changed the way the, and how much the elastics were wound in order to, to deliver the, just the right amount of torque in order for the walker to move forward and not flip over. And just before we wrap up, it's always good to understand your design considerations and what you need to work with. We recognized that from the beginning, we are gonna be using elastics for power and elastics generate a very exponential power curve, releasing their power very quickly over a short period of time. And for a walker that needs to take a step, as the, as the legs would leave the ground, it would expel all its power all at once. And finally, if we, were to, if we were to reiterate this and make another prototype, we would look for a way to choke the elastic power to release it smoothly and increase the total length of our product to make sure that the legs do not interfere with each other. We hope you enjoyed the presentation, and we hope to have one of these in your hands very soon. Thank you very much.